Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gregory Gage and this is going to be an unboxing of the Spider-Man Homecoming homemade suit figure by Hot Toys. So if you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my uploads and feel free to check out all my other videos because there is a lot on my channel. This one, I'm going to be unboxing this. My friend from the States very kindly picked this up for me and sent it over to me. So I'm going to unbox this right now. This is an old one. Obviously came out when Homecoming came out and that was quite a few years ago. Don't want to like cut my hand open. Why is it so hard to get into this box? There we go. Also, really great news for Spider-Man fans is that Spider-Man 3 has just started filming, so it is on the way. I'm very excited to see what they do with it because there's all these rumors about like Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield joining the cast. So could we have like a multiverse with all three Spider-Mans in it? I don't know, but I am hopeful. This here though is Spider-Man. I don't need that anymore. Here we go. Let's take a look at the box. I don't need these scissors anymore either. We've got Spider-Man in his homemade suit right here. My favorite thing about this, this specific Hot Toys figure is the head sculpt. The Tom Holland head sculpt in this is probably the best Tom Holland head sculpt they've done. And I love it. He's all beaten up and can't wait to see. Right, so on the side, we've got the design that just wraps around the side here. Then on the back, you've got all of this information down here about Hot Toys and Spider-Man, but I'm not gonna read that. And on here, we've got the, I don't know if that's the focus, that might focus. Anyway, you can, you can see Spider-Man. There we go. So you've got the window box here. So you can see there's the extra head sculpt in this bit here with Tom Holland's likeness. And then you've got the Spider-Man figure here with his homemade suit. So I'm gonna keep this closed and there's also all of the details about the creators of this this figure here and that's like a matte finish right so let's get spider-man out of the box and into my hands can already tell how much i love it first lot we've got multiple different hands we've got three extra spare hands these ones are different to the other ones that I have shared before. We've got some spider posy ones. So if he was to be like on the ground, putting his hands on there like that, that, so that's the, the kind of thing. So if he's posing on the ground, you can pose them very, very well. So like this, this is the, the hand we've got right here. A pair of hands, just like that. The standard Spider-Man pose where he's got his hand like this, as if he's shooting a web like so but this one the thing the little finger is kind of bent inwards like that so it's more like like that i can't you can kind of see give it time and it'll bend back then you've got some clenched fists completely clenched fists you've got other ones that are clenched but have a tiny little hole in the middle there like that and that is so that you can hold all of the different webs here we go here we have, you have five different web slings. There is another one here, so he can kind of like hold one and also like fling it. It's an odd shape, very strange shape, like an L. Two of them are this size, and then you've got two smaller web shots, web, web shoots, web shooters, shootings, shooters, webs, whatever you want to call them. There's two of them, two small ones, two big ones, and a, and a weird shaped one. And they can go straight back in there because I'm probably not going to display them with the web but then there's also this here which can attach to the end of a one of those webs so it looks like he's like squirted it and it's a, attached to a wall I don't know if you can even see that you probably can't even see that but there you go then you've also got this little mask this little spider-man mask this is not to actually use on the figure it's for when you swap out the headpiece and you want him holding his mask as if he's just taken off his mask but i am again probably not going to be using this mask in any any sense at all this i will probably keep in a museum pose here we have a spider-man in his homemade suit it's it's an interesting one very accurate to the movie though so you can see right here he's got his very strange mask on there with his little eyes 
that are interchangeable. It comes with some spare sets of eyes. He's got two spare sets of eyes so you can change his expression even when he's wearing this mask. So that's a little, a little extra touch there that they give you. So he can have like angry eyes or a pair of squinty eyes. So tiny little ones. Now see what squinty eye there. And then you've got some slightly more open standard ones that aren't really doing much of anything, just looking straight ahead. This right here. So that is just a standard eye looking straight ahead. A pair of each of those and the pair that he is wearing right there, which is the kind of like angry sort of looking face. But yeah, very cool. The zipper works. The zipper does go all the way down and underneath this hoodie, he's literally just got this blue long sleeve tee on and then he's got the blue jogging bottoms on there as well. So let's zip that back up. There we go. Zips up nice and easily. And you got his little Spider-Man logo on the front of that hoodie right there. So that is our homemade Spider-Man Hot Toys figure. And what I'm gonna do is just swap out his head so that we can take a look and appreciate his other head, which is the really crazy good Tom Holland head sculpt, which is like a really, really good likeness. And it looks so good. It's so accurate, it's like crazy. It looks just like him. So there we go, popped his new head on. And here we have the Tom Holland head sculpt. He's got some battle damage there. He's got some blood coming from the top of his forehead. I freaking love it. It's it, it's my favorite Tom Holland head sculpt they've done. Um, they've done some really, really good ones. The other Spider-Man that I have is the standard homecoming figure in his classic suit. And it looks really good, but his, he's looking off to the side and I don't like it. This is, this is, this is a good one. He's got like the bruise under his eye. He's got the blood from his lip. He's got the blood from his forehead. He has been battling without any advanced suit or anything, so yeah. And there we go, that's that's our Spider-Man homecoming homemade suit. Let's take a look at the stand really quickly. And he can stand on his own. Duh. His little stand in here is... Now because he's Spider-Man, he gets one of the bendy stands, so you can... You can pose him as if he's flying through the air, he's jumping or shooting his webs while he's jumping. That screws on just like that. Spider-Man Homecoming logo on the bottom of that stand right there. So, looks very, very cool. This goes on here and this pops back on there. So if you wanted to have him flying, he can be flying if he wants to be flying. Very, very nice. There we go. Homemade Spider-Man, homemade suit Spider-Man. Love him, really love him. If you like this figure, let me know in the comments down below. If you have him, let me know in the comments down below. Who is your favorite Spider-Man? Tom Holland, Tobey Maguire, or Andrew Garfield? I love them all, but Tom Holland is definitely the winner for me. Can't wait to see Spider-Man 3. Please do give this a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my uploads. If you want to follow me on Instagram, feel free. The handle is just going to be down here somewhere. So, yes. Hope you enjoyed it. See you really soon. So I'm just going to put all this stuff away and then get him displayed up on the shelf. That's pretty much it. Bye, guys. Do 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 do